Highly contagious equine herpes virus has surfaced here in the North State. State officials have confirmed infections in two horses in Glen County, one horse in Shasta, and one horse in Plumas County. And the threat has canceled the showing of horses at this week's Silver Dollar Fair. Action News reporter Linda Watkins Bennett is in our newsroom with a reaction to that, Linda. Alan, in all, there have been 18 horses diagnosed with the virus in California. One has been euthanized. Horse owners agree that while disappointing, event cancellations are worth it to prevent more horses from being put down. The Silver Dollar Fairgrounds are bustling with activity and preparation for Thursday's opening. And while there are plenty of animals being shown, you won't see any horses. At the advice of the state veterinarian, fair officials decided to cancel this year's equine events. You, know, you always want to err on the side of safety, especially when it comes to the animal welfare. So, um, you know, we really don't know enough about the virus to uh, take that risk. Entry fees have already been refunded. Local 4-H leaders say it's disappointing, but understandable. My girls were a little sad, um, but in the grand scheme of things, I think missing out on a show was worth it, as opposed to losing your horse, which um, you have far more time and money invested in that. This was to be sixth grader Allie Paget's first show, and she's been practicing hard with hopes of a win. How did you feel when you heard the news? I was sad because mm -hmm. I didn't get to go to the show and win. There have been 18 cases of equine herpes confirmed in California. All but two of the horses took part in a championship show in Utah, which means the sometimes fatal virus is still fairly isolated. We haven't seen any outbreaks outside of the cutting horses, mm -hmm. but I think that's because they were so quick to um, get on the quarantine once they found out, and word got out there really fast. Bladorn credits the internet with helping to rein in the spread. Now, 4-H riders who needed the Silver Dollar Fair show to qualify for the state fair. Uh, apparently, the state fair will be automatically accepting any rider who qualified last year. Meanwhile, the next opportunity to show locally will be at the Butte County Fair in August. Reporting for Action News, I'm Linda Watkins-Bennett. Thank you for that, Linda. Turning